Hello students, in this video let us learn the first theorem of this unit. This theorem is a very significant theorem in the examination point of view. The theorem says that a fuzzy set capital A on R is convex if and only if A of lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 is greater than or equal to minimum value of A of x1 comma A of x2 for all x1 comma x2 element of R and all lambda element of closed interval 0 comma 1 where this m i n denotes the minimum operator. So we know that A of lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 represents the membership grade of this expression. So now the membership grade of this expression, if it is greater than or equal to minimum of the membership grade of x1 and the membership grade of x2, the, for all x1 and x2 in R, then the fuzzy set A is said to be convex and it is vice versa also. Now let us prove this theorem. So first we shall consider a fuzzy set. So let capital A denote a fuzzy set on R. So this is what first we consider. And now what we are going to do, first let us assume that A is convex and we shall prove this. And in the converse part, we shall assume this expression and then we shall prove that the fuzzy set A is convex. So first, let us assume that this fuzzy set A is convex. So by the definition of convex, what do we have? We saw in our pre previous video that a fuzzy set is convex if its alpha cuts. So if all of its alpha cuts are convex, then the fuzzy set is said to be convex. And as per the definition of convex set, we know that if the if x1 comma x2 is an element of the alpha cut set, then lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 will also be an element of that alpha cut set. So this is by the definition of convex set. So a fuzzy set will be convex only if its alpha level cuts are always convex. So by this, we can say that the alpha cuts of the fuzzy set A are convex. So this implies because A is, we have assumed A to be convex, it implies that the alpha cuts of this set are convex. So which means that how do we represent the alpha cut? We represent it in this manner. So this is convex. Now as per the definition of convex just now we saw. So if x1 comma x2 is an element of this alpha cut set it implies that lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 will also be an element of the alpha cut set. This is by the definition where this x1 and x2 belongs to alpha cut and this lambda is a scalar between closed interval 0 comma 1. Now we have to prove this expression. So in order to prove this expression what we shall do we shall assume that so now let the membership grade of x1 let us assume it to be lesser than or equal to the membership grade of x2 in this fuzzy set A. And let us take alpha to be equal to A of x1. So by the definition of the convex set we have here x1 comma x2 element of the alpha cut set. And this implies lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 is also an element of the alpha cut set. So what is this alpha cut set actually by the definition we already saw that it is the alpha cut set is equals to all those elements of the universal set whose membership grade is greater than or equal to alpha. So any element of the alpha cut set if we take then its membership grade A of that uh, element will be greater than or equal to alpha. Now here 
what is that element that we have chosen this one that is we are saying that this belongs to the alpha cut set so if this belongs to the alpha cut set definitely the membership grade of that expression will be greater than or equal to alpha so because of that the membership grade of this element okay so membership grade is represented as a of lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 so this membership grade will be greater than or equal to alpha but what we have taken alpha to be we have taken alpha to be equal to a of x1 so this is equal to a of x1 this a of x1 can be written as minimum of a of x1 comma a of x2 this is because we know that a of x1 is lesser than or equal to a of x2 so when we take the minimum of these two what we will get this is lesser than this so obviously we will get this so a of x1 can be written as minimum of a of x1 comma a of x2 so that we obtain our result that is the membership grade of lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 is greater than or equal to this uh, alpha which is equal to this and this is equal to minimum of these two so therefore greater than or equal to minimum of a of x1 comma a of x2 so hence we have proved the first part of our proof now let us prove the converse part so this is uh, for all x1 comma x2 element of capital r and for all lambda element of closed interval 0 comma 1 now in the converse part we have to assume this and we have to prove that the fuzzy set a is convex now let us prove the converse part in which we have to assume the inequality and then we have to prove that uh, the fuzzy set is convex so first let us assume that a fuzzy set satisfies a of lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 greater than or equal to minimum of a of x1 comma a of x2 for all x1 comma x2 element of r and for all lambda element of closed interval 0 comma 1 so we are assuming this now what we have to prove to prove that we have to prove that a is convex in order to prove that a is convex by the definition definition of a convex fuzzy set we have to prove that all alpha cuts of a are convex that is all alpha cut sets are convex so this is what we have to prove so these are convex so by the definition of a convex fuzzy set if we want to prove this to be con convex then we have to take uh, two elements for example x1 comma x2 to be element of the alpha cut set after taking so we have to prove that the uh, this one yeah, that is a of uh, i mean lambda x1 uh, plus 1 minus lambda x2 is an element of the alpha cut set so this is what we have to prove this we have to uh, take and we have to prove that lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 is an element of the alpha cut set now first we shall take this that is we shall uh, now for any so this is what we have to prove so to prove that if uh, this we have we have to prove this is also an element of the alpha cut set so for that now for any uh, let us choose uh, some that is these two x1 comma x2 element of the alpha cut set now we shall try to prove this now because we have chosen x1 comma x2 to be the uh, to be the elements of the alpha cut set by the definition of the alpha cut set that is if any uh, if we choose any element from the alpha cut set then the membership grade of that element will be greater than or equal to alpha 
so now here we have chosen x1 and x2 from the alpha cut set so what we can understand we can understand that the membership grade of x1 will be greater than or equal to alpha and also the membership grade of x2 will be greater than or equal to alpha okay now by our assumption what we have we have this inequality that is a of lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 to be greater than or equal to the minimum value of a of x1 comma a of x2 so this is what we have taken in our assumption now because this is minimum of uh, uh, a of x1 comma a of x2 and we have the greater than or equal to inequality we can write alpha in place of a of a of x1 and alpha in place of a of x2 so this will be greater than or equal to minimum of alpha comma alpha so what is the minimum of these two values they are they both are same so this will be equal to alpha only and so hence a of lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 is greater than or equal to alpha which means that the membership grade of this element is greater than or equal to alpha so if we have so what do we know uh, if, if the membership grade of any element to be greater than or equal to alpha then this element will belong to the alpha cut set so as per this definition of alpha cut set we can say that now the membership grade of this is greater than or equal to alpha because of which we can say that lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 is an element of the alpha cut set so we started with elements x1 comma x2 to be element of the alpha cut set and we have obtained that lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 is also an element of the alpha cut set which implies that the alpha cut set is convex and hence from this we obtain that the fuzzy set a is convex and hence we have proved the converse part of this theorem also hope you have understood this theorem thank you